okay now what happened let us try to understand fibonacci series how it is being successfully achieved so first of all you run this code compile this one it is requesting for enter a number if you enter 8 8 so fibonacci series of 8 numbers okay so 0 1 okay 2 2 numbers 3 4 5 6 7 8 so fibonacci series of 8 numbers is equal to 13 fibonacci series of 8 numbers are 13 okay so if you count them from here this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 13 so you are reaching you are getting 13 so fibonacci series 8 numbers how it is happened so as i told you that three variables i have declared they are the static variables int type static means they are class variables okay class variables can be accessed without creating of object without creating of object okay a method user defined method it is static type means this method not belongs to the object it belongs to only class okay so means this method if you want to access this method fibo no need to create objects okay you can access it by class name your class name is recursion so it is a user defined method so within this one parameter x i have passed that is integer type so this much of code i have written what happened i will explain if black i have used within this x greater than 0 sum is equal to n1 plus n2 n1 is equal to n2 this code i have written so initially what happened whenever you compile this execution how execution so you are seeing this enter a number how it is happened compiler looks for the main method always compiler execution starts from main method so whenever compiler gets main method the first line of code will be executed the line of code what enter a number so when you compile this one enter a number you will get this one so here you pass whatever the number you pass that number will be read by system dot in is a parameter part of system class system dot out system dot out system dot in these two are part of system class okay system class system dot out will be used to get print out on the to see the print out on the screen so this print ln is a method of print string so print this method of this method is method of print stream class okay print stream class but we can't create the suppose if you want to access this method of print screen uh, stream class we need to create the object but st print stream class can't be used to create the objects so alternate solution in java is that system class by the for the system class object out is an object okay that will be used to access this println method of print stream that is the way so say uh, print system dot in it is to get the input stream from the keyboard okay so keyboard whatever the number you pass here that will be read by this system dot in parameter so now that value will be read by the next int method of system class scanner class okay so this scanner class next int method will be accessed by object without creating object uh, scanner class methods not only scanner class any class methods if you want to access you need to create the object so object created now system dot in whatever it reads that will be read by this next int and that will be stored by this x value now x holds the value user input value so after that this line of code will be executed this within this line of code this is a string type of data this is a string type of data both are concatenated added with concatenated means two strings are added that is concatenation addition of concatenation one more x value whatever the user feed suppose user is feeding 8 so fibonacci series of 8 numbers are you will get after that n1 plus n2 
so n1 value is equal to what this one 0 next one so here for the space i have put space okay so now first two digits will be printed then after your function will be decremented to two why because two values are already printing so eight user has feed uh, user user has entered eight eight as a enter a number as eight so two numbers published after that uh, eight minus two six so your x is equal to six now cur um, cursor goes to here to read this method so this is the method na fibo x minus two so x is equal to six so now method looks for this fibo method compiler looks for this fibo method now x value six so whenever x is greater than zero this line of code will be executed under the if black so here s sum is equal to n1 plus n2 n1 is equal to what zero n2 one so this becomes sum one so n1 is equal to what now n2 so n1 value becomes n2 value so it becomes one so n2 is equal to sum sum is equal to what one so n2 is equal to sum now your sum will be published that is called sum is equal to 1 1 means this value published okay now your function less than minus 1 decremented so initially 8 value user entered 8 value minus 2 it becomes 6 now here its value 6 okay its value 6 now whenever x greater than 0 so 1 will be printed so after that whenever x minus 1 it becomes what 5 now x5 x greater than 0 sum is equal to n1 plus n2 n1 plus n2 what n1 plus n2 1 plus 1 this, this it becomes 2 it becomes 2 next n1 is equal to n2 n1 is equal to n2 value 1 okay n2 value what this one so n1 is equal to n2 n2 is equal to sum sum value 2 so it becomes 2 now system dot sum sum means what 2 value so this value will be published next it decrements to x 5 minus 1 it becomes 4 now 4 x is equal to what int x 4 so x 4 greater than 0 sum n1 plus n2 n1 plus 1 plus 2 3 it becomes 3 now n1 is equal to n2 n2 is equal to 2 so n1 is equal to n2 it becomes 2 n2 is equal to sum n2 is equal to sum means sum is equal to what 3 3 now your sum will be printed now this will be printed now fibo this becomes 3 so now x is equal to 3 so x greater than 3 greater than 0 sum is equal to n1 plus n2 n1 plus n2 3 to 5 now n1 is equal to n2 n1 is equal to n2 n2 is equal to 3 so this is it becomes 3 so n2 is equal to sum sum means 5 it becomes 5 now system prints sum sum means 5 this 5 will be printed now if you go x minus 1 3 it becomes 2 it becomes 2 function x value 2 x greater than 0 2 greater than 0 sum is equal to n1 plus n2 n1 plus n2 3 plus 5 8 so n1 is equal to n2 so n2 is equal to 5 n2 is equal to sum sum means 8 this becomes 8 now system dot out print ln sum so 8 will be printed this will be printed next fibo x minus 2 minus 1 1 it becomes now 1 so x is equal to 1 1 is greater than 0 1 is greater than 0 now sum n1 plus n2 8 flips by 13 so now n1 is equal to n2 n1 is equal to n2 means n2 is equal to 8 it becomes 8 n2 is equal to sum n2 is equal to sum sum is equal to what 13 13 so now your 13 sum is equal to what 13 13 will be printed so this value will be printed so now x minus 1 it becomes 0 0 greater than 0 no condition is not satisfied broke up if black the condition